Good morning, folks. At least I hope it is. Statistically, if there's a day you're going to have health, performance, or emotional issues, it's during a Cosmic Ray health alert. Our disaster prediction app sent the alert just an hour ago. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star. No sunspots, no solar flares, and that's part of the problem. Coronal holes still have not intensified the solar wind. Purple plasma speed just on a slide down to ultra-quiet range. These have left us with 24 hours of KP0, a cosmic ray zero day. Folks with hundreds of studies tying solar flares, geomagnetic storms, proton events, and solar wind impacts with physiological and psychological effects, they are all dwarfed by the cosmic ray connections. That's because those combine many of the other effects in one, and we are electromagnetic creatures. These rays are heavy atomic nuclei. They cascade into neutron and muon blasts that could break DNA, affect cell mitosis, affect cell signaling, and more. Best fight against it is awareness and positivity. Top quake of the last day struck Chile. Only a six-pointer, but number one on the magnitude list. Typhoon slammed the Philippines and is still lingering near its west side, at least three dead in the storm as cleanup begins. Meanwhile, this is not the United States, it's Australia, where meteorological summer just began, and someone forgot to tell the Southern Hemisphere. Want to give a little forecast warning for about a day from now, low in Northern Africa shifting north to affect Southern Europe, and also coming up from the near equatorial Eastern Pacific is a solid low set to deliver strong precipitation to the Southwest, about 24 hours. Let's go to the solar corona, where the mystery of the ultra high temperature in the sun's atmosphere compared to the surface might finally have an answer. They say that the magnetic waves coming from the sun which carry tremendous energy, often can't get past the corona, much like how Earth's ionosphere acts like a cavity ceiling for lightning, creating the Schumann resonance on our planet. While on the Sun, some magnetic waves cannot escape, triggering what they liken to an acoustic resonator in a guitar, which amplifies the energy as waves are trapped and combined and makes the atmosphere so darn hot. Jumping next to the Moon. They have definitively found the Vikram lander site now. Before and after and aspect ratio differences between them are allowing the impact site and even most of the debris to be located. It was to be India's first attempt to get to the moon. Let's start the deep space science with a shredding of the dark matter model in favor of MOND. Now veteran observers remember that MOND has almost as many problems as dark matter science, but alas, it's never a bad time to watch a professional scientist openly thrash the standard paradigm. A better focus is on the bulk flow currents, hopefully we recall these. And here we are looking at the intracluster medium, not interstellar or circumgalactic, but intracluster or maybe intergalactic plasma. Despite separation by millions of light years, there are huge flows of that electrified material between the galaxies and microgroups within the cluster. Last but not least, they have spotted a galactic superwave in a cluster of galaxies exceptionally far away, like 6 billion light years away. The active galactic nucleus put out a 10 to the 61 erg blast. And so what does that mean? Well, an erg is about 600 billion electrons, which doesn't really tell you anything. When your heart beats, about a million ergs are used, so that's a million times 600 billion electrons. The Japan earthquake released 10 to the 24 ergs of energy, and now we have the cosmic blast scale. At the bottom, the tiniest nanosolar flares are only about 100 to 1,000 times the size of the Japan 9.0 earthquake, but the scaling up happens quickly. Up to the top, we find that AGN outburst in this paper, at 10 to the 61, being millions of times stronger than the strongest supernova. This chart comes from our cosmic blast scale episode of Earth Catastrophe Cycle, by the way, which you can find on our channel homepage. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.